What's the alternative um, if we don't arm the rebels and they're clearly outmanned and outgunned by uh, Gaddafi's forces? Um, what's the better solution here? The better solution was, as Mr. Paul said, never go at all. This was none of our business. But I think what we're seeing is the string is playing out. We threatened Gaddafi and that didn't work. There's an arms embargo and an economic embargo. That didn't work. There was a UN resolution and that didn't work. Aerial bombing has continued and has impact, but it hasn't defeated him. Now we're at the stage where we're going to try to apparently try to train and arm the resistance. That takes a long time. I don't know if we have that time against Gaddafi. What, what we're seeing is the president being put, putting himself into a corner where his only option is ground troops. But that's something that is not, this, that's something that no one says that they want to do in this administration. I mean, they, they simply don't want to do that. They want to. Well, they don't. Well, the, the, the choice may come down to admitting that it was a mistake and being defeated in the sense that Gaddafi survives or putting ground troops in. Nations are a lot like people. They don't like making, uh, admitting to mistakes. And uh, maybe they don't want to put them in, but when it comes down to looking defeat in the face, I wonder. You know, you led the CIA's unit that tracked Osama bin Laden 1996 to 1999, and you believe that uh, much like that situation, America's involvement in Libya could prove to be a recruiting tool for extremists. Why? Oh, oh it's absolutely a recruiting tool. It's, it's the American-led West attacking a Muslim country that has they've oil. they very careful to say it's not the American-led West, that NATO has now fully taken over the operations. Um, uh, well, that may fool... Firepower was used in the beginning, but that this is uh, a coalition that includes Arab states. That may fool some Americans. Uh, it's not going to fool the people who sympathize with bin Laden and other Islamists. This is really a U.S.-led operation. And you talk about the Arab states that are involved. The Arab states are tyrannies that are hated by their own people. This is a this is a piece of theater set up by Mrs. Clinton and Mrs. Mr. McCain and the the bipartisan group that loves to intervene abroad. In the Muslim world, this is Americans killing Muslims again, and it looks like it's for oil. I, I, I just want to ask: Are you trying to have it both ways and saying that okay, these are tyrannies that hate their own people? Well, that's why we're helping because in Libya, it was the people that wanted. Gaddafi out, that they were tired of it. So weren't we then supporting uh, Islamic democracy, I guess you could say, in these countries where they're tired of totalitarian rule? If we were supporting Islamic democracy, that would be one thing. But if you listen to Mrs. Clinton and especially the rather crazed Miss Rice at the UN, this is all about democracy in a world where, where democracy is not going to take hold. I think it's very clear, Michael Scheuer, that you are no fan of this policy and this administration. I, I think calling uh, Ambassador Rice crazed is, is certainly a, 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 a significant charge. Um, well, I don't know. I've just listened to her. You know, that's only my impression. And I have to say, this is not a Democratic problem. This is a Republican problem, too. Both parties love to intervene in other people's business where there are no U.S. interests at stake and where we spend enormous amounts of money at a time when we're nearly bankrupt. That doesn't seem to me to be a wise practice of American and statesmanship. That's, and that's a whole other story. That it, we, it, it, to call the United States bankrupt, the United States is running humongous deficits, yes, but the economy and this mission in Libya are two separate issues. They're not separate issues, ma'am. You're just carrying the water for Mr. Obama. I'm certainly not carrying anyone's water, and, and, that, and I, I will assure you of that. Michael Scheuer, thank you so much for your time. Um, we, you know, we've had a very long, exhaustive interview. You had plenty of time to give your point of view on that. Uh, we're going to be right back. It's 38 minutes past. Thanks, thank Michael. You.